Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And in our top stories today from the Daily Caller, Arizona election law may enable non-citizens to vote in 2024 presidential election, experts warn. Quite fascinating as we have talked about the reasons and the strategies behind why the Democrats are allowing such an incredible amount of people to come into the country. One of the most important states in the 2024 presidential election has a loophole in its election procedures that could allow non-citizens to cast federal election ballot, experts told the Daily Caller. Democratic Arizona Secretary of State Adrian Fontes crafted the state's election procedures manual to permit individuals whose citizenship cannot be verified to register as a federal-only voter and cast ballots in upcoming elections. So, ladies and gentlemen, as much as we want to, as the Democrats say, protect democracy, here we're talking about individuals who are non-citizens being able to vote. And not only that, but not even have to prove that they are a non-citizen. In other words, to feign, to pretend as though, oh no, I am a citizen, but I forgot that I don't have this, that, and the other document to show you. Interesting. An otherwise eligible registrant who does not submit the PDOC or proof and whose U.S. citizenship cannot be verified by the Arizona records deal here or other record in the statewide voter registration database is registered as a federal-only voter. A federal-only voter is eligible to vote solely in races for federal office in Arizona, including the presidential preference election, the PPE, and the EPM says on the page three of its first chapter. Now, this may seem a bit confusing, but as we do here on the Buzzweaver channel, we take the difficult, we take the complicated, we take the tumult, we take the confusion, and we break it down because, of course, the Democrats always speak in this bizarre language that's really quite simple. So, basically, a non-citizen who can't prove that they're a citizen will be eligible to vote in the PPE. Now, what the PPE does in just simple terms is it allows these non-citizens to vote for who they want to be president. So it's very for so, so essentially they're telling the electors of that state who they want to be their president. So they're not voting in the general, right? They're not they're not voting in the general election. They're not going to able to vote for the president. They can only vote to tell their particular party who they want to. So why do I have to register as one of the participating parties? And then it's, it outlines the provision. And then uh, election day, March 19th. And the nom nominees are finalized at uh, respective parties' national convention. So once they place this vote, they're basically telling either Democrat or Republican parties how they want to vote, who they want, right? Delegates will travel to their party's national convention and cast their vote for which presidential candidate will appear on the general election ballot. So it will be the electors, as it were. It will be the, the, the delegates that will be the one who make the choice. So basically these non-citizens will be telling the delegates who they want them to vote for. So it's not like they're voting in the general election. And it's not like they're able to vote for the president in and of himself, as I just said, in the general. So, so there's, I just want to make sure that everyone is clear on that. But uh, we may, if we look back at what Elon said here, Biden's strategy is very simple. Get as many illegals in the country as possible. Legalize them to create a permanent majority of one party state. This is why they are encouraging so much illegal immigration, simple yet effective. Now, it's a bit hype. You know, it's a bit hyperbole here, or it's a bit um, hyperbolic as well. Uh, Biden prioritizes legal status for millions of immigrants. Now, of course, if they become legal citizens, then obviously at that point, then the PPE isn't even going to be necessary. They'll be they'll be considered legal legal uh, either legal residents or citizens. Um, in, in which case they could vote in the general election. So, but again, I don't know all the legality of it. I don't know how quickly they would be able to even vote, whether or not they even got the citizenship. It still is going to take time to, to uh, make them citizens and so forth. So, but it is pretty interesting. But I, I don't know how much of an impact this will have overall in the election now, because as we see here, the PPE will only allow them to select or tell the delegates or tell the electors. Uh, the convention goers who they want to be president. But nonetheless, as we covered on the Friday vlog, I mentioned how CNN was projecting that Donald Trump was going to win. Now, that's a dog whistle to their base to let them know that, you know, you need to get active. You need to get out there and start 
uh, getting people registered and start getting encouraging people to vote Democrat. But it's also them trying to pacify Trump supporters, those who, who support Trump or the Republican Party or who plan on voting for Trump. It's to pacify them so they think, oh, he's got it in the bag. I don't need to go out and vote. No, anyone and everyone needs to go out and vote. Don't let the media encourage you, dissuade you, pacify you. You go and vote. If you have the ability to vote, go and vote. And that way, they can't continue to say these sorts of dog, use their dog whistles or to pacify people. But it is quite fascinating that in Arizona, they do use the PPE. And, uh, and, and I agree with Elon to an extension because also it would create more citizens within a district. And within that district, then they would be able to get another representative in that district because of it go, it's based upon population. So these are just the absurd, bizarre strategies. And I agree partly with what Elon is saying, but it's a little more complex than all this, of course. Uh, this is just kind of generalizations that are being uh, that are being mentioned here. But obviously the PPE is not a generalization. This is actually what they have in law there in Arizona. But nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for the support across all social media. New Tech here on YouTube. You guys have been amazing. And, of course, appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon. You guys can click on to subscribe as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.